Good morning. We're going to try this again. Uh, I'm getting so close. I'm getting so close. Uh, I was thought I had figured out a way for us to, um, for me to be able to share the, the prayers with me on this page. Good morning, Jenna. I thought I figured out a way to share what was, um, what I, the prayers with me on this page so that everyone, good morning, Barb, everyone could see what I was seeing and I failed to be able to do so. Therefore, uh, I'm going to keep working on that. However, uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to stop trying to do that, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and offer the prayers. So let me get my page situated here, and we shall begin. So if you, if you were up here earlier, good morning, Robin, if you saw earlier, um, and there was like a seven to 25 second video um, of me talking and alerted you, and whether you heard me or whether it was just darkness, that was my failed attempt earlier. So we'll try this again. So we're going to be using Martin Luther's uh, morning prayer that he used uh, for his small catechism, uh, as it didn't get a chance to do that this past Friday. Uh, as I did midday prayer, but we will be using that today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before we get to the concluding prayer, uh, as this is not a very long prayer, uh, service. Before we get to the concluding prayer, uh, a few prayers uh, for those of you who are uh, people, and I would encourage all of us to be this way, but um, some people have a, a gift for it a little bit more. Uh, I encourage you to keep certain names of people uh, in your hearts and in your prayers throughout the day. Uh, prayers today for, I'll give you some individuals' uh, names, for Ron, continued prayers for his healing. Uh, prayers for Jeff, not me, even though I could always use your prayers. Uh, prayer for Jeff, his continued healing. Uh, prayers uh, for Larry, John. Uh, also prayers for Zachary's family uh, as they mourn. Uh, give them comfort and peace. And uh, prayers for everyone dealing with COVID-19, continued prayers for that. Uh, I know it can almost seem like that has been put on the back burner right now, but that is very much uh, still deeply in our prayers. Uh, also, we would be amiss if we did not keep in our hearts, as we know, it's probably in our thoughts, prayers for all of those uh, people who are For voicing their opinions and voicing their their pain throughout the world um, right now in these protests what I will say is we always pray that there are peaceful ways to go about this um, we know that sometimes that doesn't happen and we know that Jesus died for us all so Continued prayers for justice, continued prayers for
people on both sides, uh, people who are protesting, people who are doing their jobs uh, to, to monitor safety of everyone, and we pray that everyone would use peaceful means to do so. Wish I could say more to that, wish I had a solution. Unfortunately, I don't. And we will conclude with Luther's morning, official morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. God bless you all. May God be with you this day as we just prayed. And remember that no matter how dark it gets outside, no matter how dark it gets within, uh, that the light of Christ is always with us. So, God loves you.